Today, we're gonna to be taking a driving tour of Pickering's Bay Ridges neighborhood to give you an idea of what this neighborhood has to offer and see if it's the right fit for you and your family. Hey, my name is Mitch. I'm a local realtor here in Pickering and I make videos just like this to let families know what living in Pickering is all about. Now, if you're new here and find these types of videos helpful, go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you can stay up to date when future ones come out. Now, the Bay Ridges neighborhood is bound to the north by Highway 401 and Bailey Street, to the west by Frenchman's Bay, to the south by Lake Ontario, and to the east by the Hydro Transmission Corridor. Of the almost 3,200 occupied homes in the neighborhood, the most common housing type is the single detached at 41%. Located in South Pickering, Bay Ridges includes two elementary schools, neighborhood parks, three places of worship, the Nautical Village, Pickering Go Station, a senior center with lawn bowling, and Frenchman's Bay. And now here's just a quick map of where we'll be driving today, just to give you some reference to where we'll be throughout the drive. Now with that, let's get right into the drive tour of Pickering's Bay Ridges neighborhood. So we're just starting off on the northern boundary of Bay Ridges on the Liverpool Bridge over Highway 401, and we had just made a left there onto Bailey Street. Now to our left is the Pickering Go Station, where you can take the train to Toronto's Union Station in less than 45 minutes. Head to the left up there you can see the Universal City condos that I mentioned in the city center drive tour. I'll have that video linked in the cards above there if you're interested in that drive tour you can check that out after as well. Now coming up to Sandy Beach Road we're gonna be taking it right here. If you follow this road all the way down, you'll get to Kinsman Park and the Alex Robertson Park. But today we're just gonna be taking a quick right onto Drava Street to take you deeper into the residential area. Just taking a left here onto Raytan, where we'll take a right onto Morden and take that out to Crosno. Now driving on Crosno Boulevard here, these homes are a mix of semi and single detached and they were built in the early 1960s.
Now on Fanshawe, you can see the Sir John A. Macdonald Public Elementary School over there to our left. Now we're on Shearer Lane here, which will take out to Anland Street, where we'll be making a left. And on Anland here, some of the older homes have been torn down and new ones are being built, like the ones to our right there. Now here we'll be turning left onto Liverpool Road and take this all the way down to the lake. Now here you can see the nautical village up ahead and this area was built in the mid 2000s and is a mix of residential and commercial space along the bottom. And then past the nautical village straight ahead, you can see the lake down there. And if you walk straight down, you'll get to Millennium Square where they have concerts in the summer every Thursday night at 7 p.m. And it's totally free, so you can just come down and check it out. And you can also follow the waterfront trail all the way down through Beachfront Park there. And now we're just gonna quickly turn around in the parking lot here and head back north again. But I just wanted to make that little detour just to show you the, the waterfront, or as much as I can show you down here in the car. back up to Anland we're gonna take a left where again you can see some of the newer homes being built here as 
we round the bend here, we'll be passing Frenchman's Bay East Park to our left. This park is always much less busy in the summer than the waterfront area, but it's still a really nice park. Now here we'll be taking a right onto Commerce Street. Now we're back out to Liverpool Road here, where we'll make a left and continue north. But if you were to continue straight on Commerce, there's the Frenchman's Bay Ratepayers Memorial Park just up ahead there, which has an ice rink set up there for the winter. And now on Liverpool, to our right there, you can see the new townhome complex that was just built in 2019. To our right, we have Big M's. They have amazing burgers and poutine, and you definitely want to check them out if you're ever here. And now to the right on Crosno there, just behind the houses out of the frame, there's a dog park and some open green space as well. Here we'll be taking a left onto Holler Avenue. And these homes here are a mix of semi and single detached, just like the majority of the neighborhood here. Now coming out to Douglas Avenue, we'll be taking a right. And on our left there is Douglas Park, has a playground, a soccer field, and open space backing out onto Frenchman's Bay. Here we're going to take a left onto Radom Street. And coming up to our left there, there's some condo townhomes. As well as on our right, there's also some condo townhomes. And straight ahead, you can see the high-rise condo building there.
you will be taking a right onto St. Martin's Drive. We will then take a left onto Wayfarer Lane. Now on Tanzer Court here, these homes are a mix of semi and single detached and were built in 1983. Here we're coming out to Begley Street and straight ahead you can see the Canoe Landing Condo townhomes there. And now back out to Bailey Street, where we'll be taking a right. And up ahead to the right there, you can see the San Francisco by the Bay and the SF3 condos. This is a newer constructed complex and is a mix of retail and residential spaces there. coming back up to Liverpool Road where we'll be making a left ending the Bay Ridges drive tour. If you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment or send me an email. I'll have my email linked in the description there below. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.